Hello and welcome to lesson four, page 41. This is the song titled Switch Engine in our level one book. And today we are learning a brand new note on the staff, D. Last song we looked at middle C on the staff, which is right here, right with our ledger line. Remember that word, the lines above and below the staff that we draw. A ledger line tells us where middle C is, right on our piano too. Well, right next to middle C, if we go up to this space, we'll call this a space note. Oop, let me draw a better circle. That is the note D. And if we look at our pianos, we're going to play the D that's right next to our middle C, just like it is on the staff. It's right next to it. And I really want to reinforce for you guys, this D means this D on your piano, this specific D. And the same thing for middle C. It means you can only play middle C. If you play this C down here, well, that's actually a different note on the staff. It's not the one that's written. The one that's written is middle C. Or if you played maybe this D up here, that's not the right one either. It means when we see this note in this spot on our treble staff, it means to play this exact D, okay? It'll be that way forever for the rest of your musical careers. And let's review some of our symbols now. So up first we have the treble clef. And remember the treble clef means to use our right hand for the treble clef. And next to our treble clef we have our time signature. Hey, our last song said 3-4. And now it says 4-4. Four, four. Well, that means that we need the top number it tells us how many beats per measure. And the bottom number tells us what type of note gets a beat. A four is our walk note, remember? So there needs to be four walk notes in every measure. And remember, two bar lines make up one measure. So let's do some counting. One, two, three, four. There's four beats. Let's do some more counting. One, two, three, four. Hey, there's four beats as well. Uh, how about this last measure down here? One, two, three, four. Ooh, a whole note worth four beats. That checks out as well. That's also a measure, which is why we need those two bar lines. Very good. So we went through our time signature. Now our rhythms. We just have walk notes and a whole note in this song. There's actually two. And whole notes get four beats that we hold them for, remember. So students, I want you to really lock in and see the difference here. Look, C goes up to a D, then back down down to a C, back up to a D. But look in this measure, it's all C, okay? Look, there's ledger lines going through each of those, so that's all C. So let's try to play that first line together nice and slow. One, two, here we go. Play C, D, C, 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 C. Excellent work. Moving on to line number two. It's actually the same thing as our first line, except for our whole note, which we're going to hold for four beats. So let's try that nice and slow. One, two. Here we go. Play C. D, C, D, and C, two, three, four, and off. And at this point, students, I thought maybe I forgot to mention, you can use two fingers like this on C and D for our song, or what I'm doing is practicing what's called a five finger pattern. I'm using the side of my thumb and the fingertips of my fingers with my other fingers. I'm just using C and D today, uh, but my other fingers are also resting on the piano. This can be good to practice. Um, your teacher can actually help you a little bit more with that hand position um, if you want to practice this at home. Uh, it's not the focus of our video today, but you'll see me using this five finger pattern a lot, and your teacher will definitely show you how to put your fingers up there like that if you want to practice with all five. Okay, back to the song. So line number three, we are actually going to uh, use uh, something brand new. And it's right here. Look, it's like a C and D stuck together. Is that a mistake? No, it's not a mistake in the song. It actually means to play both notes at the same time. 
like this. And we just do it for a walk note. So there's four of them like that. It goes walk, 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 walk. And then the last one, there's just a D by itself at the end of our line. So it's going to sound like this. I'll show you and then we'll play it together. Here's the third line. Here I go. C, D, C. Together, 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 and D. Very good. Let's try it together now, just a little bit slower. One, two, here we go. Play C, D, C, together, 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 and then last one, a D only. Excellent. And then the last line of our song, students, is actually the same as the second line. So let's play it again for the extra practice, and then we'll try the whole song. Here we go. One, two, last line, play. Play C, D, C, D, and C. Two, three, four, and off. Excellent job. Now let's go back to the beginning of our song and do our full song playthrough. Here we go. One, two, full song play. Play C, D, C, D, C, 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 C. Line two, C, D, C, D, and C. Two, three, four. Line three. C, D, C, together, 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 and D, last line, C, D, C, D, C, two, three, four, and off. Congratulations on completing the song Switch Engine, and I will see you on the next song.